Hi YouTubers, I wanted to upload a detailed CAD model of the Ron Riel or Ron Real propane burner. I also attached some blueprints to the description of this video uh, that you can download for free. Uh, this is a very, very well proven design. It works great. There's lots of videos on YouTube that show it in use. Um, I actually built it for less than $30. Um, you don't need any special skills or anything to, to make it. The um, one thing that is important is when you assemble it, make sure you use the yellow Teflon tape that's actually rated for gas because you don't want that seal to leak or burn out. Uh, as far as doing the machining work on it, on that two inch belt, when you drill those two cross holes, those have to be in line as best as possible because that brass tube has to slip through there. Um, on the brass tube, you have to drill a .040 hole as that's the proper orifice size for this application. And now that orifice hole, when it's installed, has to go directly down the center of that pipe to get a proper flame. So how you do that is on the back of the bell, there's two holes that you drill and tap in there for some set screws so that when you put that brass tube in there with the orifice hole, you can get it in the proper location and lock it in with those set screws. The bell on the nozzle end, that's just a piece of black pipe that um, I, I, I heat up the end and I just kind of belled it out a little bit. It's got to have a little bit of a bell, otherwise the flame won't burn right. And then just drill and tap three holes to hold it in there, uh, to hold it onto the, the nozzle tube. And uh, you can adjust it for the different lengths of what you're looking for. Now some people like to turn the threads out of the back of the 2 inch bell because they say it affects the airflow. I don't, so that if I add a forced air system, I can have somewhere to mount it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up.